Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video what we have is we have a massive new update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Note 20 that in fact brings some really cool One UI 3.1.1 features to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. As you know, 3.1.1 right now is only available on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Flip 3, but their features are now trickling down to other phones Note 20 is one of them to get it. So let's dive in and discover. Now before I do dive in, if you are wondering where to download this wallpaper, which is 100% free, all you wanna do, it's a gorgeous wallpaper, you wanna click the link down below, it's gonna take you to my website. Once you're at the website, you wanna scroll down just a little bit. Under wallpaper number two, you just wanna click the link right here and they'll allow you to download this for free. Fantastic wallpaper. Anyway, let's go to my settings. Let's go all the way down. It says a software update is now available on the top, as you can see. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to tap on download and install. And right away, first and foremost, it's not going to say anything here, but I'm going to show you everything that's new. But if you scroll down, you can see the version number to look for. And that's the size, 1201.02 megabytes. So that's over one terabytes. And of course, it also brings the August security patch. So let's download. I'll be right back once the installation is complete. All right, the phone is now up to date. So the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is the one over here in the quick toggle. So if I tap on this and if I go to edit buttons, we now have the brand new bedtime mode that was only available as of now on the Fold 3 and the Flip 3. So you can grab this guy. You can drag it over here to activate this. When you click done, it's going to show up right here. When you click it, click it, it activates the bedtime mode and you can see the screen just went grayscale. It's got a bunch of other features. What you can do is you can press and hold and it'll take you to the details so you can see what's going on. All right, you can end the bedtime mode anytime you want. And just to clarify, here's a Samsung Galaxy Fold 3 running 3.1.1. And if I go to my quick toggles on the top, you are going to see that we have the bedtime mode right here as well. Now, one more thing I'm going to quickly clarify. If you do go to your settings and if you go into your about phone uh, software information, you will notice on the top it is going to say 3.1. But in fact, it has all the improvements from 3.1.1. It's been confirmed by a Samsung community manager. And then if you go down, you have the latest patch. If you click it, it'll take you to the website. And if you scroll down, let me just cancel that. If you scroll down, click on Samsung, it will show you all the security patches that were plugged with this update, uh, if you like that kind of detail. Uh, the other thing that some people are saying has been happening to a lot of Samsung phones, even though I haven't seen it, but when you tap on the weather widget here or launch the weather application, the ads on the top are gone. In my case, they were only gone after the update. Before the app update, the ads were still there. So I'm assuming it works a little bit differently in different places around the world. But in my case, I no longer have the ads on the weather application, but I still have the ads on other applications like Samsung Pay. But the weather is now super clean, super nice. By the way, if you want the weather application independently without the widget, you tap over here, you tap on settings, and then what you do is you simply tap on add weather icon, it will be added to your apps. And also over here, they have added new graphics. So these graphics here next to the text are new. Otherwise the text is the same, but they have added the graphics as I mentioned, all right? Now those are the only updates that you can actually see. Then we have under the hood, massive updates. It's a huge software update, the camera it's now performing much better. Even as I go back and forth uh, between these modes, it's much more smooth, much more silky. The phone itself feel, feels uh, silky smooth, improved on top of what we already had. And some people are reporting smoother and faster animations. I was able to tell that on the S21, which also got this update, but on the Note 21, it seems they're smooth, but not as fast. But the camera app certainly launches faster. Uh, the zooming is more stable and quicker. So that's all good stuff. But that's basically everything there is to this update. It is a massive update. 
there are some minor feature changes and also massive under the hood improvements to make that phone even better. Better heat management and even slightly improved battery and better camera performance. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.